Hey fighters, this is SF and there is a new event battle that is up right now and it is Rescue Robot Arm 4 and I'll be showing you two of the best brands to deal with this event battle and of course it is going to be in the very hard difficulty and first brand it is 18th Avenue in terms of things that you really want uh, it's basically Tamamo in the leader position everything else you can probably just uh, stack Mikiri's free monster uh, Muay Thai is a free monster Squeak Mon is a free monster um, Lapi is a free monster uh, the rest are from the summon but you can replace it with uh, Sumire well, actually Sumire is a summon monster but anything with high attack uh, HP wise you don't really care about just as long as they have high attack, 300 attack, and relatively decent arts or arrows, then it should be okay. Uh, the main point about this event is the opponent boss, the opponent leader, will be taking control of one of your monsters. Will be taking control of one of your members, and make sure that your monster, your fighters will, will not be in your side of the field because they have... So they will actually, if they get controlled, then they will deal damage to you. And the control only lasts for one turn. So you don't have to worry about it that much. And in terms of the other, the opponent's monsters, uh, don't try to clear it. Don't bother trying to clearing it. Because you are going to risk yourself in getting your monsters uh, controlled. Which in turn deal damage to you. So basically, it's an all-out who aggroes out who's who uh, first. In terms of the opponent's mo uh, members, there are four types of mo uh, members. One is Yumbo, which is just a stat, so 300 attack, so which is relatively high. And there he is controlling Squeak, which is fine. And the fight burst because I cleared him too fast. Uh, his fight burst is just KO all your enemy members, so there's another Yumbo. The second one is an LED, uh, which will be basically like a wrench, but it's only 100. There's that LED. So increases attack of all allied members within range by 100. Okay, that's fine. Let's. Let's for sure clear off that uh, LED first. Although I, sh although I really want to uh, transform into that demon fox, but I really want to clear off that LED in case anything bad happens. I think I actually win. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, this is what you call aggro, and it is very fast, very easy. Okay, transform demon fox. There are two other ones. One is uh, Guardian Proto GX10, which is the most powerful of the opponent. I think this should be enough. I hope. If it doesn't, then I'll be a little bit sad. Yeah, that's enough. Barely, I needed that critical. I needed that critical from Lappy to beat it, but that was a little bit lucky. Uh, 90% chance of winning with this deck uh, It is a game of RNG so uh, That 10% is whether you have a really bad hand or they have They put it in a really really awkward spot And then the last one uh, Like I said in GX The GX will uh, Take control of one, one of your guys and then Gains attack per link Let's go for the second Brand I want to show you and hopefully we'll see more of their opponent's monsters and that is AC. AC is pretty much the same playstyle as the 18th but it's just more faster. It's like it's really fast. <laughs> it is really fast. Um, in terms of turns uh, it'll be one less turn than 18th Avenue. So if you're really gonna farm for max sense then I recommend an AC deck. In terms of specific Fighters for that deck uh, is basically your best AC monsters with high attack stats. 
and uh, don't worry about effects that much so things like uh, gorilla or clave like those types don't worry about those guys uh, leader you really want uh, Geppetto the the one that I have here just because you want your full aggroing into the leader you don't really care about clearing the opponent so just full aggro so uh, things like Koala in, in the leader spot is really bad because uh, oh, that is not great because that's the worst. I wanted the attack. But it's fine. Like I said, don't worry about effects. Like, don't even worry about uh, Sid's effect because chances are they might not live. Just go full aggro, and that is a nice, nice control. Just because of my next hand. If it was Skywalker, then I had to play uh, play it really poorly. Let's see, there is that fourth monster, and that is Traffic Droid I. In terms of her effect, uh, it KOs all the allied long range members that that they have, and then it will gain 400 attack per uh, gain 400 attack per. KO'd monster. That's why Toys and GGG are really bad against. Let's fight first. Because if they can take control of one of your guys and then they put in a traffic droid there, then you're basically screwed. You're trying to limit as much damage as you can. Let's go Koala. Right here. Okay. And that should be game because I'll be playing Reinhardt next. But like I said, it is super fast. So if you're going for max sense, then by all means use this. Use AC. AC is the best. Uh, I know a lot of you don't really like, uh, don't really care about max sense monsters, but those criticals can be come very, very handy in World League. There we go. Uh, but if you don't really care and just want ro uh, rescue robot, then uh, then just go play easy mode or normal I think. I think it's normal hard and then very hard. So you can uh, just play that and just get one drop and then you're fine for any deck. Uh, I really like Rescue Robot Arm in terms of himself, in terms of uh, as a fighter. Uh, you play him in G uh, he is a GGG monster. I really, let's take a look at him before we go. Let's see. Where is he? Up, 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 up. There we go. GGG. So 200 attack, 500 HP. Uh, his skill, you're going to be using him as a member. Whoops. Sorry, as a member. So converts one ally member to an enemy and one enemy member to an ally. It is permanent. So you're basically switching. Uh, you're switching one of your monsters with the other one if you I haven't really tested him out yet but I'm pretty sure if there's no other monster from your side uh, it will still it won't it won't convert any of your monsters to the other to the opponent so if of course he's not the best first move but if he's if you're in if you're going second then you can pop him up first and then you can take control of the opponent's monster whatever it is and it's always nice to take control of it and then fight burst is not that useful. Attacks two enemy members for 400 damage. Uh, since you're playing GGG, uh, you have a lot of good mob clearing capabilities, so you don't really need that uh, 400 extra damage. You might as well get uh, the 300, uh, the 200 from Professor Pi or the 300 from uh, GX Recline and all those types of monsters. But uh, I think he's pretty useful in a lot of GGG decks, so. At least get one if you don't want to get if you don't want to max luck then don't max luck but if you max luck then the chances are that you'll have those criticals and it might save your bacon but that's pretty much it for me i hope you guys like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye bye